Hi, we're Joel and Leah. And this video is American phrases, words that Brits just don't understand. Yeah. Are we going to be guessing these? We're going to be guessing these. Right. We've done one of these videos before. This is all phrases that we haven't ever discussed before on this channel. So if you have seen the other one, don't worry. Like These are all new words Brand to new. us. And new words to you. Not new words to you. Oh, but new words to you and that you've not heard them, them on before, our channel. channel before. But, but yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. Enjoy. Okay. <laughs> So, first one, Joel. What is, is it? Put, lips, put lipstick on a pig. Put lipstick on a pig. Okay, I'm going to guess what it means. Go on, then. Everyone who lives in, like, an area that has pigs is getting ready for a night out. And they all want to, like, dress up. Like, put, no, that's... So, they're not all pigs. Pig. They're not all pigs. But, like, they're like, oh, we're going to have a party. Like, let's get the pigs involved as the, well. Maybe. I don't think they actually do. I think it means something like to make something ugly really nice. Oh, yeah, like, um, like what's that one we have in the UK about the lamb? Mutton dressed as lamb. So yeah, like, a, like old, But isn't that normally if old, an older old lady yeah, is trying to, like, dress young, that's mutton dressed as lamb. Oh, okay, so lipstick on a pig probably, but maybe probably like, yeah. Yeah, like someone that's it? ugly is trying to do something to make them look nicer, Pretty. but they're not doing it. Okay, maybe, let's maybe. see what it means. This weird colloquialism to describe trying to superficially improve something that's ugly... Like you said, yeah. Or deficient makes sense when you explain it to an outsider. But as da 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 puts it, one of the main reasons the rest of the world finds American politics bizarre. Politics. This is weird. Is it about politics? Someone, I think a politician is saying a very traditional oh. American. Oh, okay, so it's not um, aesthetic. It's just oh. meaning trying to superficially Im improve something. So yeah, can politicians like if they put lipstick on a pig, as in they're trying to pass a bill that's like really bad, and they're trying to dress it up, being like it's going to be gonna really be great, nice. guys. Maybe Make that's America what it great is. Again. Yeah. They're okay. Putting lipstick on, on a pig. pig. Okay. The next one is jump the shark. Jump the shark. Yeah. Well, that's if tough because you, you can't jump, jump in the water. shark. Is this something if you've done something really dangerous and you're like jumping the shark, you're like trying to jump over it, meaning like you're in a Staying dangerous situation? Staying away from danger. Yeah. But. Jump. Or like or, you just missed, like that's a close shave. You jump the shark there. Yeah, close. I like that. Yeah, close shave. Close shave. Jump the shark. I think it's that. It's got to be that. Let's have a look. Do Most it, people it. don't get why this phrase is used to describe a TV show or some other work that goes on longer than it should. Oh wow! So it originated on an episode of Happy Days. Days. It's shorthand for when something ceases to be culturally culturally relevant. relevant or any good, but for those hearing it the first time. Oh wow! I prefer my definition. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I still think it means that thing, but it doesn't. I'm like, oh, no, yeah, it means you're... a TV show that's gone on for longer yeah. than it should. You, it's jump, jump the, the shark. shark. That doesn't make sense. Okay. Joel's definition is better than that. Yeah. I'd say it's it's jump the shark. I wouldn't use that's not going to no, stick. No. Some of these just land and they stay with you. Yeah, don't they? like pissing in the wind. And codawampus. Codawampus. Cod Oops, I said it wrong. Codawampus. Oh, codawampus. Codawampus. <laughs> right. So the next one is long in the tooth. Long in the tooth. Yeah. Long in the tooth. Uh, does that you're mean something that's the... something that's been in the works for ages? Like, imagine yeah. if your tooth is really long, that'd take ages to grow. Yeah. Oh, I was thinking something that just looks a little bit out of place. Oh, okay. Because like you've got one long tooth. <laughs> long like, in the something's tooth. not right about your tooth. Something's long in the tooth. No. What? I don't long know. Let's have tooth. a look. Okay. So a phrase that can sometimes be used in the same way as jump, jump the, the shark. shark. This one refers to something that's gotten old or gone on for too, too long. long. Okay. It's originated as a term referring to horses whose teeth continue to grow as they age. Horses just have teeth that don't stop growing. Yeah. That's crazy. So basically being like, it's got boring now, the TV show's gone on too long, it's a bit long in the tooth. Yeah. Again, a very weird one. Yeah, like Lost, that went on for too long. Yeah, that was long very in the tooth long. That jumped, jumped the shark. shark. Yeah. I love it when we do these videos and at the end we try and do a sentence yeah, using all of them and it's just my so bad. That's favourite thing. <laughs> so the next one is pork. Pork. Like the meat. Just pork. It just says pork. Pork. Um, so if something's pork, it's like, pork. it's cool. That's pork. Oh, I don't that know. is so pork. That is so um, pork. That's pork. That's confusing. Pork. Pork. That's pork. Or, it's not beef and it's, it's not, not chicken. chicken. It's like pork. pork. It's just in the middle. <laughs> now um, pork has lost all pork. meaning in my or head. Like, and I'm like, what people that sit word? on the fence. Oh, don't be a pork. Yeah, don't be a don't pork. Don't sit on the fence. <gasps> or if someone's lying, a porky pie. They That's could be pork. lying. Pork. That's pork. I'm going to call your pork on that. <clears throat> Let's have a look. Let's have a look. So pork. It refers to the practice of politicians obtaining money for pet projects that benefit specific oh. areas, industries or people, usually in return for their support. Pork barrel politics is a phrase you'll hear oh, to describe wow. you scratch my back sort of thing. Oh, so it's like a not good word. If, if there's like 
uncouthness going on. Yeah, yeah. And they're porking just like, about. Pork. Yeah, oh, pork. you politicians been porking about? Pork, poor politicians. I mean, not poor politicians. <laughs> I don't like politicians either, but poor politicians. <laughs> no one likes them. No, they. When I was thinking about it the other day, um, when they sign up for their for what they're about to do, yeah. they must know what kind of hate they're in for. Yeah, more because... than any YouTuber, more than any oh, yeah. anyone. Politicians have it the worst, I think. Well, because also, politicians get people that hate them, but they don't have people that love them. They've got people that hate them and people that are like, yeah, you're all right. Whereas at least, like, if we get people that hate us, we've also got loads of people that love us and what we do. I think some politicians, I don't really see it in the UK, they don't get much love. No. But I think in America, America, there's some that... Have, they have a lot love of love them. for a love a lot of love for them. Well, you do see sometimes in films of American families like pinning up posters of like yeah. politicians or presidents in their home, and it, you're like, that's don't. a bit weird. Yeah. I'd never put a poster of Theresa May in my house. <laughs> I wouldn't even put a picture of the Queen or the royal family in my house. Oh, I would. Would you? Yeah, I'd have a desk. Aww. I'd have my working desk, mm. laptop, computer screen, double screen, and Queenie. I'd have yeah. like the Queen. I'd have a picture of Harry and Meghan. No, you wouldn't. I would just would for you? fun. Yeah. Just look at Harry and Meghan. I just love, love that. I love, love. Maggie Thatcher. No, Maggie I'm Thatcher. Kidding. I wouldn't. I'd probably have Queenie because I've obviously got like my mug. I've, oh, I've yeah. Got, I've, got, I've got, whole... got some memorabilia. Yeah, I love a bit of memorabilia. But that's just in a wardrobe somewhere. Right. I, I use wouldn't mine use it. daily. Though. I'm going to sell mine once. It's limited edition memorabilia um, yeah. that my auntie got me and I will sell it once it's made enough money. <laughs> So if you're watching, Joel's going to be selling that. That's so funny. Well, I'm never going to use it. Oh my gosh, it's like when um, mum mum thought that uh, all these Disney videos were going to be yeah. worth something one day and they, oh, they really? stayed in the loft for years. These videos are going to be oh, worth it. And no. it's like now, and then it went to DVD and now no yeah, one even has, no one, no one even, now it's just streaming. Yeah, but people are going to drink from mugs in the future, so that's fine. Oh, the mugs, And also yeah. my auntie that brought me that is the auntie that is like, this will be worth a lot and like we'll get collector's items and like, We'll like keep them, them to then sell on. So Amazing. she won't mind me saying that. Okay, okay. What's the next one? That was a tangent. Classic, next one, classic. Classic Joel and Leah. If you like tangents, subscribe to yeah. this channel. We post video thrice, thrice weekly. weekly. We always go off on one. Always. So the next one is carpet bagger. Carpet bagger. Don't even someone know what who means. puts carpet in a bag. Oh, you. Or carpet you're a bagger. carpet bagger. You clean. You, someone you've cleaned the space up. Um, you. You're a cleanly person. Uh, All I've got is like a rude slang in my head. That Whisper it. That's disgusting. <laughs> you are filth. You are absolute filth. No, but th- isn't that kind of like carpet? carpet? Right. right. Yeah, it's okay, the yeah, same I, no, sort I see, of thing. I see where it came from. I just think, oh, filth, wow. Get it filth, out of your brain. Filth. Okay, let's okay. have a look what it means because I've literally got no idea. It's a law it's about politics. Look. Politicians dancing oh. to take shots at each other in a bid for presidency. It's not quite the same as rat bag or the other bad beginning with D. The phrase was originally used to refer to northerners who went south after the Civil War to make money, often using nefarious, high, means. nefarious means. They carried their belongings in oversized carpet bags. Now it refers mainly to politicians who seek elections somewhere they have never previously resided. Okay, okay. so if someone's coming from like Oregon and being like, I'm going to be a politician in California, and yeah. you're like, you're a carpet bagger. You're not you've from pa- around you here. You put all your stuff in your carpet bag. And you're off. And then you're off. And you're trying to conquer this area yeah. and be like main number one. It's like us if we moved to America. Maybe we'd be carpet, carpet baggers. baggers. Also used to describe people or corporations who profit from other people's misfortune. Oh. So it's got two meanings. So like medicinal companies. Yeah. Or like health insurance in the US. That's terrible. They're just profiting yeah. off people's illnesses. Yeah, it's bad. Yeah. It's, it's, They're all carpet yeah. baggers. Carpet baggers everywhere. Yeah, <sighs> definitely not. The rude thing you said to me. No, definitely it's not. not well. Share that with our audience. Sorry. The next one is John Hancock. John Hancock. John Hancock. Like the name Just John Hancock. John Hancock. Maybe he's a know. president. Was he president before Barack Obama? No. Oh. Because um, I would have remembered that. Yeah, same. Yeah, but I thought. No, all I can think of is the film Hancock, but that's Will Smith. Yeah, I haven't seen that. John one. Hancock, but it won't it won't be a person, will it? It means John Hancock. Oh, you. I literally John know Han- I do. You've, John, you've John Hancocked that. Yeah, you cocked it you've, up. You've messed it up. You've, you've, co- it you've up. cocked it up. We've turned it London. Yeah. You cocked that you up. You cocked that up, didn't you? Which yeah. means you've messed, you've messed it, up. it up. When you hear the request, let me have your John Hancock. The mind boggles, and you hope they're not talking about a body part. Yes. Correct. 
you're being asked for your signature. Oh, really? The phrase is a reference to one John Hancock, a signatory of the Declaration of Independence. His signature was one of the more flamboyant in the document. Okay. So, like, right. everyone's was normal and his was like... He was like, John... Amazing. Hancock. <laughs> so, um, I want your John Hancock. Yeah, it sounds rude when you say, I want your John can I Hancock. I get your John Hancock? Why do they just say signature? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I don't know. The same could be said for Cockney rhyming slang, though. Why yeah, not just true. say the word? So, the next word is jonesing. Jonesing. You're jonesing about... You're doing nothing, jonesing. waiting around at home, slouching, being a couch potato. Yeah, Jonesing, maybe. what do you think? I think I'd know the, what well, I think, I haven't looked at the definition, but I'm pretty sure oh, this yeah. is like, you know, the thing of keeping up with the Joneses. Oh, So yeah. if you're Jonesing, you're just constantly like buying things, you're trying to like keep, keep up, up with, with your neighbours. Yeah. yeah. Should we have a look? It. Keeping yes. up with the Joneses. Oh. Well done. Although oh. that's of no help here. Oh, right. Oh, if someone confesses that they're really Jonesing for something, they you mean should... they are craving. Oh yeah, that's kind of right then. So it's a guilty pleasure. But that's different to keeping up with the Joneses, isn't it? But apparently there are several versions of the origin, but its general association is with drugs. <gasps> Jones not okay. Jones was a term used for a heroin or narcotics addiction, but now it can be applied to anything. Wow. Right. So now you can Jones a decent cuppa or a good bar of chocolate. I or Jones in for a bar of chocolate. Yeah, or jo Jones, Jones in a hit. Yeah, for a injection of heroin. Yeah, that's bad, isn't it? That's bad. Jones Demonetized. Demonetized. We were talking about heroin. <laughs> oh, great. Okay, okay. Wow. Wow. Well, nice I think one. we've got one more. All right, then. The last one is bought the farm. Bought the farm. It's got to be someone who's got a lot of money. Yeah, is it that's sort it. of like you've done everything? Yeah. You know, when you're like, I've got the badge, got the T-shirt, yeah. I bought the farm. Yeah. My grandma's like, been there, done that, got the T-shirt, yeah. which means achieved, been there, done, done that, that, bought got the, the farm. But Yeah. Or it could mean, like, got loads of money, like... Been to school, went to university, daddy bought a farm. That's true. Could be. Could be. I think that's a good one. Might be. Let's have a look. Um, so we're saying a baller. <laughs> I love how these articles really, really, really go, they go into a lot. You can tell it's American, can't you? Yeah. Just get to the point. Get to the point. Bought the farm is a euphemism for dying. Oh, great. Right. Well, that's took a really nice ending to this video, hasn't it? There are a few supposed etymologies knocking around, mainly to do with World War II soldiers crashing planes, but lexicographer Dave Wilton poo-poos them and claims the phrase has been around much longer. That doesn't really help us. Um, dying. So it just means dying. I bought. He bought the farm. What happened to... <gasps> da -da -da, bought the farm. When your dog dies and you're like, oh, he's gone to live on a farm. So it's like the human version of that. Well, he yeah, bought, bought the, the farm. farm. He's not gone to live on a farm. He's bought, He's bought the, the farm. farm. That's, That's sad. sad. Okay, guys. Um, okay, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Um, um, has taken a <laughs> slight downward turn. Anyway, let's bring the energy back, back up. up. <laughs> and, uh, back in the room. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like to let us know and let us know any other slang in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, click the notification bell if you want to be notified when we upload. Be yeah. the first one to comment. We always yeah. interact with the first people, so Definitely. be part of the Early Legend squad. Yeah. Early I'm Legends all... Squad. Early Legends Squad. I love the I love Early that. Legends. It's love so good. the Early Legends. And that's kind of it. We will see yeah. you next time. See you soon. Bye. Bye.